Hi, this is Matt from Sensu Brush. I've got my purple Sensu Solo with me here and wanted to uh, just show you a uh, um, kind of a quick look at an updated app called Pen and Ink. And this is a really uh, nice, nice update to an enjoyable app to use as, as it was, but they've really made some great improvements. And a lot of it's here, well, at least that we see is the users of it uh, down in the user interface. So they've got a new control panel that allows you to custom configure um, your favorite trays of tools. I've got I've got three of them going here. Um, they've changed uh, how you use these, um, how, you, how you set all these things up. So uh, each one of these areas. So I've got five pencils. I've got um, five different uh, brushes, five different markers. You got a buy all these or in-app purchases. Um, but you're able to set up each one of these spots however you want with whichever of those tools. Now when you've um, selected a tool, let's go over here and use this zooming brush. Um, so when you select the tool, you can slide this back and forth. So that's this is its narrowest setting. And I'm going to slide it over to its biggest setting. It's really nice, isn't it? You can change the colors. They've got a bunch of different um, color trays down here. I really like um, doing a lot of stuff in uh, black and white and then tones of gray. So it's got some really um, good choices there. Right, so um, what else did they change? Each one of these, uh, you got these two hotspots on either end of the user interface. Uh, you can adjust your layers. So up here you've got 10 uh, layers that you can choose from. You can also uh, import a picture to trace. So there's a tracing layer, and then there's this background layer. So when you tap on that, um, you can change the color. Uh, and you can change what type of paper, and they've got a few here. They've got several different uh, watercolor ones, uh, plain, textured. I'll just leave it on plain for now. Uh, you've got a help area. You've got an undo button. You've got a redo button. You've got a color picker. You can slide around. Uh, and then on the other side, and they had the trash can as well. On the other side, um, you can add a new page. You've got uh, the notebook feature here. So, the, so whichever notebook you're in, there's additional notebooks here. I've only got one. You can hide the control panel or you can uh, export out via email. You know, most of the typical stuff. I was using the Dropbox one. That was working great. And so they've got some new tools as well. Um, so the brushes is what I was excited about. I showed you one example there. You'll have to go check them all out. Um, they have a nice Sharpie-like um, brush and some brush tip. I like this one a lot. It's kind of a chisel tip marker. It's uh, very satisfying. I mean, just so you can compare some of those. Let's zoom that in um, and see how they, you, you snap down like that, it brings the page back to it, its full setting. And there's a little fine tip one here. So it looks sort of like a rapidograph. Uh, here, let's just clear this page. You got all these different brushes, which are very satisfying. A little different effects here. Let's make this black. So you can compare those a little bit. Very nice. Actually, this one's, I like this one. It's got a great little texture to it.
Um, pencils, very nice. You're just going to have to get in there and play and try all these out. Um, it's called Pen and Ink. Uh, it's got different uh, per in-app purchases, so you can buy just certain sets, sets of these. So, you know, you could just buy the um, brushes, or you could buy the markers, or you can buy the whole kit and caboodle for um, $7.99. I'd encourage you to do that. Uh, and that's that's about it. It's called Pen and Ink. I think it's really nice, and uh, maybe you'll give it a try. Let us know what you think of it. Take care. This is Matt from Sensu Brush, and happy painting and drawing.